Well, hello again, kindred spirits. Linda Smith Davis with New England Fine Living. For those of you who don't know me, today I thought I would take you on a little mini vacation with us down to Cape Cod. We decided to get a little inspiration looking at other Cape homes to think of some ideas for ours for exterior, but we're also enjoying a little luxury getaway. We stopped at historic inns and taverns, and we're staying at the Chatham Bars Inn, and I wanted to share the experience with you. We're also gonna be walking around Chatham, where my 10th great-grandfather was the first settler. Welcome to New England Fine Living, where I hope to inspire you to find your own version of fine living, no matter how simple or grand that may be, no matter where you live. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to do so. It would really help my channel out, and I'd appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this episode. Now, I firmly believe that if you feel the lure of New England and you're drawn to it, even if you live in other parts of the country or the world, I have a strong suspicion that you have some New England DNA. I'm not going to go into a long story, but Ben and I both have ancestors from the 1600s that started on Cape Cod, and our family did not know that. And they lived in other parts of the world and country, and they moved back this way, and it's even happened to some of my friends, and I'm going to introduce you to one of my friends in the next video. But I just wanted to say, if you feel like you're a New Englander, you probably are. Before we arrived at our destination, which was the Chatham Bars Inn, we decided to stop for lunch at Quasset Resort and eat, dine in the restaurant called The Rose. The building is a 1740 home of Warren Jensen Nickerson. And once again, we were just trying to visit historic properties, inns, taverns, because that's how we roll. Here I go again. I honestly don't know why I do this when I'm out and about because the pillows in my house are not in place. Let me take you on a really quick sneak peek at part of the resort. We are all checked in and let me show you the inside of our suite. Now our cottage is on the ocean and they are multi-unit cottages so you are sharing the building with other guests 
but it was very quiet, especially this time of year. We do like to travel on quieter seasons. And after I show the interior, wait until I show you the interior of the resort itself. Our cottage was a very short walk to the inn and that is where you would have breakfast, lunch or dinner if you wanted to dine at the inn. And I cannot wait to show you some of the interior. Now, some of you have asked where I get my inspiration. A lot of time it's when we travel. I really like to take in what the woodwork looks like. What is the furniture, the flooring, the wallpaper, colors, you name it. Down to even the dinnerware. And I'm gonna be doing a video that shows what I buy for our house and how it resonates with some of the inns that we've stayed in in the past. In their restaurant stars, you will see an original painting by Norman Rockwell, Spirit of America.
For casual dining, Ben and I ate in the Sacred Cod. Actually, we sat at the bar and enjoyed a couple cocktails, and it was a really nice atmosphere. In house, this for a decor idea. You could get a porthole and put a flat screen behind it, and you have yourself an ocean view. And our night would not be complete without a game or few of chess. Actually, six games, and Ben won every single time. But I'm going to blame it on the cocktails, but I did have to remind him I'm the queen. To share a little bit more about inspiration and when I look for home decor, I already knew I was going to do two square planter boxes out back behind the new porch that we just did, and I'm going to do them black. And I was able to point out to Ben, this is what I like, and I also love the trees with the twinkle lights. Check out all of the petals on this beautiful daffodil. We walked back to our room and it was pretty chilly. I decided to take a nice hot soaking bath and relax. And I did bring a book with me and I need to thank, I had uh, two kindred spirits, two sisters actually sent a box with a couple herb books and I grabbed this one to bring. They're from across the country and I don't know if they realized that the book was actually produced a couple towns over from us in New Hampshire. Another thing I thought was great is I'm reading a couple pages in and it's talking about the town we drove through today and during this trip. It's such a small world and coincidences. I just love things like that. And it's time for bed. And one thing that the inn did was they left little tiny atomizers that we could spray some scent on our pillows. And it was so relaxing. The next morning, we decided to get our breakfast over at the inn, just a short walk from our cottage. And then we took a very short drive, like minutes worth, down the street to visit where my 10th great grandfather, or one of my 10th great grandfathers, settled the town of Chatham. That happened to be the home of Caleb Nickerson. But here's a little story about William Nickerson, and I'm not going to go into it. And my family line ended in the 1700s when one of his granddaughters, Lydia Nickerson, married and then went to Canada. So I really enjoy following in the footsteps of my ancestors, as does Ben, and that's one of the fun things we like to do traveling around New England. Now, if you get a very strange craving for chips, it's not weird because Nosset Lighthouse is actually the logo that's used on Cape Cod chips. In the small village of Chatham, we walked by the Wayside Inn, and attached to the inn is the Wild Goose Tavern, where we had our lunch, but I did pop my head in. I've got to check out all of the historic inns in the area. Once again, another Nickerson property. I have no idea the relation there, but it was a nice, very relaxing, and we were the first ones there. We got there when they opened because we had a lot we wanted to do for the day. Now there were so many beautiful homes that I saw during this little vacation, but this house, it was one that I actually asked Ben to turn around so I could get out and photograph it. I just loved the black and white and the white front door with the black screen door. It really stood out to me. Now I'm going to fast forward to very early Friday morning. I decided to go for a walk as soon as it got bright enough, but I just had to share what it looked like. I'm gonna say this was around five o'clock. Not only did I decide to wait for it to get a bit brighter, but I also waited for it to get a bit warmer. So I headed out about 7.30 and I went to this wonderful little cafe, the Chatham Village Cafe and Bakery, because I read about their donuts. And let me tell you, the donuts were really good. I grabbed a cup of black coffee and walked into downtown. 
Now this caught my eye. I have flickering candle lights like this for our front lights, but I they don't look like this. So I'm going to actually research to find these candles and I will let you know. If I do find the source for these flickering candle bulbs, I will put a link below for you as well to research them yourself. Now I'm just going to point something out for those of you who have never seen this before. This is common for some of you, but this is crushed oyster shells and a lot of people use them in their driveways and they do compact down quite a bit in winter, but I did have a girlfriend who used it at her home and she was a little bit concerned with plows, but if the plows lifted enough, it works out. My walk was long, the air was cold, so I did text Ben and asked him to meet me at the lobby down by the fireplace and we grabbed another cup of coffee before hitting the road to head back home, which was about a three hour drive for us. And it was just a wonderful getaway. On the way out of town, just a short time later, I would say about an hour later, we did stop for lunch in Duxbury. We stopped at a seafood place, it was fantastic. And then we drove a little bit more up the coast and we ended up in Cohasset, drove through, and then we headed home. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I inspired you with a few ideas and inspiration to find your own version of fine living, no matter how simple or grand that may be. Bye now.